All right, starting this one early like I used to because I actually have some things to say to everyone. So this match is I'm making some predictions. Spyro and his little group of buds are playing in this match. Uh, they're in Discord, they're in comms, and they're going to be working together. And for those of you who don't know, Spyro and, and this little pack of friends, and sometimes other people, uh, like to full stack teams. Uh, they're very experienced, and they have really strong teamwork. I've played against them a couple times. I've played with them a few times, uh, and they're very good. So I'm not expecting this match to be very fair or balanced, but I am expecting it to be an excellent lesson in teamwork. And that's why I'm... Uh, if this gets uploaded, it is either one, a much better match than I was expecting, or two, a great example of teamwork, because teamwork's the most important thing in this game, hands down. And I've gotten a little bit bombed for, not like super bombed, but a, a little bit of hate for encouraging people to work together and uh, saying that, oh, well, the reason X, Y, or Z works for you or doesn't work for you, but works for other people, is because they're they're working together. Yup, yup. Well, that's a lovely start. So yeah, work, work together. Teamwork is is gonna make the dream work, as it were. So uh, this is Aorta Team One INS Team Two OSP. We're gonna get into it. Spyro is bringing the same thing as bringing last time. It looks like. Uh, I guess I should explain that for anyone who wasn't here. It's a Voxel with a lot of missiles, a wide variety of missiles, a couple hybrids, and some normal tar type twos. We got Pepsi Sucks in a Rain's missile fleet? Kip? Yeah, yeah, that's just a Rain's missile fleet with a one keystone with a beam and God, there, there's no point defense. None. Spyro doesn't have any point defense either. Uh, this guy has a ton of point defense, though. Holy shit. Skinwalker bringing it. Lots of missiles as well. They are just going hard on the missiles today. Investigative journalism? <laughs> That's a great name for a missile. Guns. Yeah, and then more, more missile rains. There's so many missiles, dude. Oh, man. I, uh... I'm really hoping that the OSP just random hard counters this. Oh, let's go look at the container. Nice container vessel with... Oh, no. He brought... Instead of, like, full bank launchers, he brought a couple of the, the shitty little Type 2 launchers. Whoops. The stack launchers. Mines. Some containers. Some decoys. Yeah, this is... Mm, I don't know about this build, Chief. Firing some already. We'll go back to those in a second. Got some... Rocket. Oh, he's bringing... Oh, man. You split your points up a little too much, I think. You have to sacrifice so much to bring extra... To bring a container ship at all, because it's a thousand points for the hull. That bringing extra ships is often just not really practical. And bringing a lot of extra ships is extremely impractical. Okay, I'm getting mines dropped on A. I don't know if they'll be able to clear the mines since they have primarily missiles. I mean, there are a couple ships that have guns on them on this team, but I think they're, these mines are actually going to do, normally I don't like the open mines because they don't iconic. fucking do anything because you can just shoot them, but if your opposing team doesn't really have much in the way of guns, then that's not really practical, and this thing has, no, it's got a beam turret, and then missiles, and then I guess point defense, but you really don't want to be driving into this, that is it, that is it, a lot of mines, that is it, a lot of mines, I think they might have secured a, I didn't see any hangers, hangers, hang, hang ups, these aren't closed hangers, these are hang-ups on the ANS team. Sorry if I'm jabbering, I'm trying to go very quickly because I think combat's going to start real soon with all these missiles. So they did last time. Um, okay, we got some very gunned-up line ships. Guns on both sides. Might be trying flip strats? No, brother. Oh, no. It's too many rapid cyclers. You're not going to get very much out of these. It's too many. It's too many. Replace three of these with ammo elevators and then we'll talk or two with ammo elevators and one with I don't know something else like a gun plotting center I already got two of those how did you fit all this in here in 3k points this seems like a lot for 3,000 points because that's a lot of guns like a lot a lot of guns 
Oh, it's okay. I know what it is because I bring ships that are have just their port covered in guns, but I also bring an intel ship with them, and the intel ship costs an absurd amount of points. Uh, but yeah, the, these two shuttles and then the extra guns probably accounts for all that. Uh, could be able to like really fight something, get stuck in and and fight real hard, uh, which would be very strong against this fleet that has a complete lack of a front line. Still haven't taken their natural point here on Echo or Delta. OSP team, of course, already taken Charlie and Bravo. Good job. And oh, yeah. So there's the there's the first victim. I missed that, unfortunately. More mines! That's not a bad spot for those. Because if someone slips around there, and this one just might, because that's a good way to get over without getting into cover. Yeah, it won't seem until it's way too late. Yeah, those are just tucked up in there. Okay, we got someone going over the map. It's Spyro. We did the strat last time as well. That's a lot of missiles. Okay, clean this up just in time. The match to get underway. Looks like he's going for the decoys. Huh? Mm. Or maybe not. I have no idea where these are pathing. I think they're going after the decoys, though. I'm not 100% certain. They could be going down. They're going after the decoys. Yeah. <laughs> So many missiles wasted on decoys. You fire two volleys? No. Oh, that's that's funny every time. That never ever 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 gets old. I don't I don't care who you are. Even the guy who fires the missiles. I, I got tricked by decoys once with my like really fancy single voxel missile ship. Well, it's a similar build, but it's more a hybrid threes and torpedoes than Mark twos. So bringing twos seems to be a better idea. More versatile. Something I'll have to think about. Anyways, yeah, uh, getting getting dodged by decoys is such a such a bruh moment for everyone involved. Of course, the decoy player is just happy as can be. I've never been able to get my decoys to be effective, though. Unfortunately, usually when I fire my decoys off, they just get ignored. I don't know if I'm just bad at that or what. Still haven't taken Echo. It's trying so hard. And it's dragging flat drive. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is the slowest drive you could have in this thing. It's trying so hard to get there, man. What is he if it pulls out? I guess for the beam. And it's uh here we are. Here here we go. Backed off, looping around the backside. Oh, if he comes over the top, that container ship is dead. Yeah, puppies are uh, are not not gonna be. They're actually really bad on container ships, just because of how large they are and how much surface area they have to cover. <coughs> Apologies. Um, these these just can't handle it. You really want bastions? I have something in my throat. One second. Okay, much better. So you really want bastions on those because they cover a wired air. One turret can cover a really long field of fire. He's sneaking another a, t a test missile around here just to see what he can see. Since missiles are weirdly your best form of uh, intel right now. There have been some proposals on the suggestion page or the suggestion channel and Discord to make radar and intel a little better as far as gathering intel goes and missiles a little worse. I'm a... Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody everybody in this ship is going to need a change of pants. Good job the on the Cicilla, by the way. What did you take damage from? I have no idea. This got missiled at some point, I guess. Like, really missiled while I was browsing around looking at everything else going on. Um... So that's great. Man, I am... There is... Do I fucking suck at this now? What happened? This one and the one earlier, I just kept missing things. 
or maybe I've gotten better and I'm just actually noticing that I'm missing things. Maybe I was I've been missing a lot of stuff this whole time. <laughs> That's a distinct possibility. Oh, that's gonna get through the Sarissa net. Let me click on it. Oh, it's going after the Ocello. It's going after the line ships. It's going after the Ocello. I have no idea what's going on. Only one gets through. Damn. I mean, that's still good damage right on this line that it hit, but the Bastion's off of these liners coming in and saving the day. Counterfire. Ah, Mayan's going out. Not a bad idea. I don't think he's gonna want to come in there though. That would be a that would be a horrible choice. I mean, this, is a, this is a long range ship. It, it's an, well, it's really an off angle ship. You really don't want to be direct firing any of those missiles you're gonna be getting them in. This one spoiling for a fight is gonna come out here and shoot this voxel. Uh, actually, what's going to happen instead is it's going to get blown up by Type ones. Because unlike everybody else, including me, who does this missile stuff, uh, he brought Type 1s for killing shuttles. Which is a really good idea, by the way, and I highly recommend it to people. And it's something I'm absolutely going to start doing. Where are these going? Ah, this shuttle. Okay, that works. Mm. Look at how good that is. They're pretty good against sprinters, too. Not as good, but they're definitely worth using. Sprinters have a little more HP than shuttles. Uh, and reminder to everyone, you can't use your AMMs as a tool to fight shuttles. Um, because of how the warheads are set up. And I also wouldn't recommend using Mark 1s as AMMs if they're designed to uh, be, be direct fire. Be... Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak. Be intended to shoot at ships. You, you really need to have the right missile for the right job. Trying to use your Type 1s for what they're not supposed to be used for is a good way to waste munitions. If this shuttle group... Yeah, if this shuttle group runs into that destroyer, it's dead. Because it didn't bring any AMMs. And I don't think this guy wants to spend his uh, good hybrids on these little shuttles. That seems like the real story's up here. Oh man. I want these to pop over this ridge and just blow this thing out of the sky. I also want to see how effective T20s are against voxels. Because uh, a commenter on a previous video mentioned that, uh, and this was Juicemonger, who I believe, I'm guessing, is Juicifer in game. Or there might also be a Juicemonger in game that I have forgotten about, like a jerk, which, if so, I apologize. Um, but he said that. 100 mil actually does have enough armor pin to be effective against, well we're not even going to get to see it be effective against voxels and he landed a few shots but, and I wasn't really sure on that because every time I've seen a voxel get shot by T30 spam out of a line ship covered in T30s it's been really really ineffective yeah I mean this did I just fired like two or three rounds and did some good damage so I guess that guy's right it's something uh, we will need to keep an eye on, being me and you, dear viewer. Um, huge shout out, by the way, to Juicemonger for doing the math on it or the stats. Not sure what the correct term on that would be. Just data diving, data diving. Seeing the armor pin and comparing it to the relative armor of the ships. So thank you for bringing that to my attention. Uh, I really... Oh, man. Yeah. So hybrids are getting used against these shuttles. <laughs> and as expected, they're very effective. This is just dead. It lost one module. Basic CIC. Womp womp. Yeah, basic CIC. No restores. It's a good way to immediately lose all your ships. But he, but he has to. This is, this is the guy that brought the container ship and hasn't been using his containers very much. Except to drop mines everywhere, which can be effective, but 
Axford has decided to also come over the top of the map. This is uh, Dixie Skinwalker. Ah, I see what this guy is doing. I like it. It's pretty clever. I'm glad people are using the outside of Aorta. Uh, because this is something that has a lot of potential. Especially with the two portholes. Because see, he's, he's dodging these missiles. These missiles are in a really like obvious through point. And it would be a really good idea to go through here. But by going through a non-obvious point... Can dodge it. Rockets coming into the voxel. No anti missile capacity, but. Oh, these are just gonna miss. This shuttle is a bad track. He's dodging. He's dodging is what's happening. I think he's got a. Okay, now just one whiplash. He was able to dodge that. Nice. Good braking. Uh, good, good management of the ship here. Some of the upsides of the voxels is they're really, really good at dodging stuff. And this, this is just a little too far for rockets. You, you, you want to be pretty close for rockets. Uh, if you're within about a thousand meters, though, they they will struggle to lock onto the target. Like he, he'll just have a hard time firing. I don't know why. That's a, that's a little PSA for all you rocket players that like to get right up inside someone's nose before firing. I I have no idea these are fired up. And presumably neither does this player. The yub of nub. What are those other ships' names? The Nub of Yup. And good old Henry. This sprinter has gone around the entire map. Look at him. He was up here and he just whoop all the way around. Another batch of fly swatters coming out, but this thing is dead. It's not going after the dead ship. He knows it's dead. Oh, no. No. I, I have a feeling there's going to be two dead ships. Oh, a couple of oh, a couple of them are getting grabbed by this dead ship. Quite a few, four of them looks like. Five. Where are these going? Just nowhere. This guy dodged very cleverly. They're staying up against the wall. Well, those are all gonna miss. Man, the OSP is just happy to sit back and wait. Which I don't think is what you want to do against a missile-heavy fleet. You need to get in there and push them and make them afraid because otherwise they can just shoot at you from behind rocks like this guy's been doing. Spyro has been doing. I'm trying to use player names more um, instead of ship types. So that way it's easier to remember what belongs to who won and so people can get a little credit for what they do. Especially people who, who show up repeatedly. In, uh, in games like, uh... I think the only people, the only person that I've casted before in this match with Spyro. But there are a few other players who I've seen multiple times, like, uh, definitely not KGB, and Swagandolf, and so I'm trying to use these player names. I don't know if that's helpful to you guys. If you'd rather me use ship names, I'm not going to be using ship names. That's, that's a terrible idea. Everyone's going to have weird-ass ship names, and I'm never going to be able to remember them. I can just look at the panels to see people's names. Where are these going? To, to murder. That's where they're going. But to murder what, specifically? Oh! Ho, ho. Murder the Index of Linda, which is already dead, pretty much. Uh, yeah, that's the end of that ship. Total Banana's gunship is Dunarino. Cello's still in the fight. Yeah, all these ships are just chilling here. Just, just waiting. Just ready. Ready to kill. But if your opponent doesn't attack... I mean, look, look, Alpha's just free. It's just free. The Protector team. They could have flown any ship in there at any point and just, just grabbed it. Like, this monitor would have been perfect. Or the... <laughs> this guy! Flight in there! You got two dammers! Fire the jammers in different directions and fly it into Alpha and cap the point and get get way, way ahead because you, you'd have a cap advantage. Force the NS team to do something. But that's not what has been happening. They've just been uh, just been kind of sitting back here. Gotta be aggressive in how you play, man. Gotta be aggressive. Because th this is what happens when you're aggressive. See, this guy, he's being aggressive. He's in here. He's shooting off missiles. He's causing mayhem and dealing a lot of damage because there's damage coming out of places that the opposing force is not expecting. 
I think this chaff is going to get a lot of these. Nope. No, it is not. It's going to get one of them. They're really spread out. Did some damage. Because these ships are just sitting here, I think these are also flying in tight formation, which is a good way to make sure your ships don't go anywhere fast at all. Bellbird, or uh, Lyrebirds, I should say. Karma's this scout right here is doing an immense amount of work. This is literally your fault. This is your fault for sitting here at the back and waiting for your opponent, giving your opponent every single chance they have to uh, preempt you, to, to catch you off guard. You have to be aggressive, or, or this happens. I'm very much a proponent of uh, aggressive defense. But th this, this is passive defense. This, this isn't even defense, it's just passivity. So, yeah. <laughs> it's direct firing. Containers, oh yeah. I, I have a feeling this guy's dead now. No, no he, he, he track fired. They're all going in on this wall. Don't track fire your missiles, kids. Plonk, man. So, had one opportunity to kill that. One is going to get through, but I think it's going to get... No, it's, it's locked onto the guy. How much damage is this going to do? <laughs> Sis! It misses. This is the luckiest player in the world right now. He should have been dead. That was his hard counter as containers because he doesn't have any anti-missile capacity. But it just it just misses. Yeah, OSB team is uh, going to lose because they decided not to try to win. They just like sat here and waited. Uh, and, and got, got blown up. Except for this guy. He flew his, his little pack of ships around. They, 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 I mean, they got annihilated. Yeah, it's funny, because I was expecting this to be kind of one-sided. Um, because, as I said at the beginning, I thought this would be a really fantastic example of teamwork. It kind of isn't. They're, I mean, they're kind of working together, because we have one group of guys over here who's defending, and then one group of guys over here who are uh, attacking. But the reason this is so one-sided is because three players? No, all four players. Yeah. All four players on the OSP team have just been hanging back, defending. Defending almost nothing. They don't have a cap advantage. And they're, they're, they're just sort of sitting here, waiting for their opponents to come to them. They're taking ambush to an extreme and are in turn getting ambushed because of it so that's the real lesson here it's not teamwork it's uh actually attack your opponents i don't know why that oh that is extremely bright i don't know why that needs to be a lesson at all but yeah you you, you have to attack or you will lose don't attack foolishly don't just charge in guns blazing blazing like a dumbass because then you'll lose even faster and harder but if you just sit back and passively wait to be able to shoot at your opponents, then uh, your opponents are going to be able to choose when, where, and how they fight you, and, and you're just going to get outplayed by anyone who's halfway decent at uh, basic tactics, which this guy obviously is, and so is uh, this guy. This guy. And this guy. Yeah, he's over here scouting, sacrificing his ship to get good scouting off so the missile ships can get the explosions off. And then this poor thing and its crappy drive has driven across the entire... What is that? What is that picture? <laughs> it's driven across the entire uh, map to cap the opposing forces natural. 
because that's how slow this game has been. Tons of missiles going into this. Or rockets? No, those are definitely missiles. With the decoys. Um, okay, quit out from this guy. That's, that's an ult of four. Container ship. And uh, yeah, Anus team was aggressive. OSP team was passive. That gave the Anus team an immense advantage. And that was kind of the end of the story. Unfortunate. I don't think this guy's fired his main guns at anything other than the sprinter. And that sprinter's a terrible target for those. It's on the other side of the wall? Yeah. This voxel is going to be shot at, maybe. Are these guys going to shoot at him? They're trying. Okay, they've already shot at him once. This hasn't. It's taking some damage. But, uh... Not, not very much. Twenty minutes remain. I guess those ran out of that juice. So wait a minute. Has he's got this dedicated missile vessel here, with missiles that can't go. <laughs> Six kilometers ish. That's a huge problem. Especially since he's just hanging back with it. Why are you staying in the back if your missile ship has to be close range? I don't understand the decision making of this team at all. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Is this like screwed? Okay, so those might have actually been impacts, but my game was just being weird and showed them before. Okay, no. No, they, those can't fly very far at all. And he, he was getting blown up by mines is what was happening. All right. Thought there might have been some weird lag. The enemy is securing zone common.
What is the logic? I'm alive! Yeah, but you didn't play the game. You weren't here. You weren't involved. I'm so pissed. <laughs> That's the response of someone who knows he's been beaten, uh, but doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, everybody, don't vex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. They really shouldn't have lost this. They should have just pushed forward and annihilated these fools. Because of the just the missile spam. Missiles, if you have only backliners, you're probably going to lose. But uh, when your opposing team stays in the backline, has their frontliners chilling in the back, uh, they lose. Where are these going? What were these fired at? Aha! <laughs> yeah, I thought this was going to be a lesson in teamwork, but actually it's a lesson in don't be a three-year-old, I guess? Because that's the only logic I can think of here, is that you're so, so scared of getting shot at in a, in a video game where you're kind of meant to be blown up, most ships will get blown up in a match, well, usually. And just uh, chilling at the back. Should I continue being a jerk? I'm going to continue being a jerk. I don't care. <laughs> don't do this when you're spectating, by the way. It's such a shitty thing to do. That's a, that's a real statement. <laughs> I've had a conversation with Balzette a couple times. Uh, I think Spyro and Pepsi are both pretty good. I don't I don't really know Evaluated or Dixie. Um, but yeah. It's just raw time playing the game. You can still be bad. It's not skill. Uh, this was a this was a pretty entertaining match, I think. Anyways, as a missile player, it was particularly interesting. Uh, it was also interesting to see an OSP team be <sighs> you 
people? Can the house mute people? They all know. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's an option. <laughs> I don't want to listen to a toddler complain. It, it, this is just turned into a chat room at this point. We're just being harassing jerks to each other. Because the game the game is over. The game is over. The ANS team has won. Uh, if you're still around, uh, thank you, number one, for continuing to watch the video. Uh, and number two... Well, I actually don't know if that matters. I don't know how YouTube counts their views. Oh. And number two, uh, apologies for being a toxic jerk. An enemy is securing his own atlas. It's, it's just sometimes you kind of have to be. Try not to be most of the time, but some people deserve it. And someone who sits behind in one spot is completely stable the entire game and just cries that it's unfair. Is not. Oh, is it? Missing ones? Yeah, nice. Is not, uh, is not deserving of patience or kind treatment. You can act like a fucking four year old, you can get treated like a fucking four year old, right? Are you gonna cap Alpha without getting mined? Oh, yeah, he, uh, he cleared him up while I was yammering like a jackass. I guess. Or someone cleared him up. This guy might have accidentally cleared him up after he got. Blown to hell. Mine's when I've gone into him. <sighs> An enemy yeah, I don't that. think so. I don't think I can meet people because it's usually Tad to bring up the scoreboard. I think in normal games, Tad has me through all the hot options. Oh, oh. Okay, here's the after action report. Uh, which I have been desperately wanting to see. 31,000. 15,000. Out of these rains, that's good. Could have been a lot better. The, uh... Oh, oh, no. Never mind, it couldn't have been much better. 7k. Okay, this could have been a lot better. This guy brought a whole lot of stuff, and he brought guns. Or, uh, not guns, a beam. But most of his stuff missed. <laughs> fucking stupid. I'm uploading this, by the way. Well, obviously, I've uploaded this, if y'all have seen it this far. I hope it has served as an effective lesson for why playing aggressive is important. And also, on the, uh... To go along with what Deboos was saying, that it, it was pretty clear that his whole team was kind of spooked. Well, at least he was spooked by the golds showing up and then having silvers as comrades uh, against a team of silvers and blues. But that, that's again, that's just time played. That's not like competitive ranking on the competitive ladder because that's not a thing that's in this game. Thank fucking God. Uh. But yeah, it, being, having a strong will and a, uh, I guess high morale is really important. Because if you get so terrified of your opponents that you just sit and spawn, you're going to lose. Even if they're way worse than you, you're going to lose. Because that's a bad decision. That is a bad strategic decision to just sit back. Unless you're doing something with that. Like, uh, missile ships can often sit back. Container ships, for example, can sit really far behind the lines. And uh, I know I'm not going over the AAR. I, 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 I gotta talk about this. This is really important. Strategy and tactics are really important in Nebulas, unlike any other multiplayer game that I've ever seen. Uh, it's Mechanics are important as well, and so is game knowledge, but, but strategy is the key. And you can strategize well enough that you can get around your own raw mechanical skill, but you can't use your mechanical skill to get around strategy like you can in so many other uh, strategy quote-unquote games that are fast-paced. 
This is so slow and plodding that you 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 have to play intelligently. So ca cowering in the back is a with a ship that shouldn't be doing that is a good way to lose. Container ships can do that because they exert pressure by their existence, and simply by being able to put containers onto target effectively. The strategy with a container ship is what you're firing at, how you're moving around in the back lines, and how you're pathing your missiles through cover to avoid them getting destroyed. And so if you can do that, then yeah, staying in the back is great. But staying in the back with a couple of gunships, which is what De, De Boss, De Boss did. Uh, and I don't want to hit on this guy too much. Because he is, you know, he's a fellow player. But I will absolutely disrespect your choice of playstyle. Yeah, look. Look at all these munitions. Look at all this. This, these things... These things could have easily dealt fifteen to 16,000 damage. They could have... They probably could have dealt more than that. If he just played aggressively. They could have fucking obliterated this ship these two reins and probably the other two reins too God, all, the, all these ships would have been eaten alive by these gunships so fast uh, and if, if this team had just stayed together, moved as a group towards the middle once they figured out that it was hybrid spam uh, they absolutely could have slaughtered the ANS team like it would have been hilarious I would have been laughing my ass off at how hard these idiots got countered for bringing nothing but missiles because that's a really really bad idea uh, but that's not what happened was frightened because of what was in the lobby and now now we're here uh, sorry for standing on my little soapbox, but I think that that's an important lesson for anyone. I mean, when I first started playing the game, I was also pretty terrified of moving my ships out. That's part of the reason I got into missiles, interestingly enough, because you could stay back. And in most cases, you should stay back. But it's really important to play aggressively if you have gunships. And as I've said before, I'll say it again, just to nail it home. There's a difference between being aggressive and being a barbarian, charging, Neanderthal ape man. Where you just fly in and your guns are firing at everything they can see. And you're just making a big target for yourself. See, if you do that, you're going to get blown up. A lot of Solomon players play like that and they get blown up. You can't do that. Being aggressive means taking the fight to your opponent, but not doing so in a way that'll get you killed. It's it's a really tough balance to strike. Honestly, it is. It's hard. You gotta be real clever and you gotta have some real good tactical sense. And that's not easy to get through normal means. So, yeah, there's just nothing on the OSP team did well. Unfortunately, I was browsing through all of them and his container ship got a little bit out, but he could have gotten way more out if he was covered if he had a front line. Unfortunately, his whole front line was chilling in the back. Yeah, and that's something else that Devo said that I didn't understand is he talked about, oh, look at the front line ships that got blown up. There there weren't any front line ships. There were no front line ships. The only front line ships were the scouts. The nearly naked scouts that just kind of got popped because they got hard countered because they didn't have any anti-missile capacity. But everything just stayed in the back. All the front line ships stayed in the back line. <sighs> okay, I've talked about this too much, too long. I'm sure I'm boring a lot of you. Uh, and I apologize for that. But this is important to talk about. So I'm gonna fucking talk about it. If you've stuck around, again. Major appreciation, number one. And number two, I really hope you learned something. I know, I know I did. <laughs> I know I did. And I hope you enjoyed as well. Because I did as well. Anyways, this has gone on for far too long. Uh, good night. <laughs>